Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Nice Day Gamers, and welcome. So we're playing a little bit more War Thunder, and we're taking a look at the M22, as you guys have requested. Now, what I can see here with the M22, and the time that I played it, it has some very strong characteristics. Number one being the speed itself. It can go up to 56 kilometers per hour. That is quite amazing at this tier, making it sort of compete with the BT-5 and BT-7 for speed, but it has a rather vulnerable front hull. So we've only got 12.7 millimeters, and when sloped, it's around 23 millimeters. That's, that's not particularly great. It looks super stealthy and looks like it could be well armored, but it isn't. It is going to absorb them rounds like a piece of mushy toast now the actual turret itself is armed with a 37 millimeter that is very capable and the shells that you get with it are very capable too so the combination of the speed should allow us to get into a firing position and then the cannon should allow us to take out multiple targets and exactly let's jump into a battle let's just do it woo so I don't know what exactly happened there, but there's something about this tank. I don't know if it's the speed or just the combination of the speed and the firepower that gets me quite excited. And as I set up in this little ambush position, you can see just how far ahead I am of my teammates. And that puts the enemy at a distinct disadvantage as well, because they're still trying to get into position with their much slower tanks, allowing me to just pick and choose my targets very precisely, sending one into the engine bay to stop the tank dead, and then the second one picking my shot and taking out the crew member. But it's very important here that I remain and keep up my situational awareness. A tank could pop out from any of them bushes, any of them shrubs, and there's going to be no marker from it. I can see a tank somewhere on the other side of that bush, and he's going to attempt to get a shot on me, but he bounces due to me tilting my armor to the side. Even though the paper armor is thin, it can save your bacon at a pinch. So I see two BT-7s or BT-5s advancing. I need to do the exact same with these guys. These are fast. Judge my shot, thread it into the engine bay, and I'm going to do the exact same with his friend. So both of them tanks now are dead in the water, and then I have a few seconds to actually try to put their extinguisher on. But this guy decides not to do that, and he starts engaging. So I thread one through the lower of his mantle, killing his crew and taking him out. Now my friend in the other M22 over there is struggling. He's under fire from that BT as well, so we're going to take him out. We've cleaned house now. That's three tanks down, and I believe there is one more French tank out there. Actually, no, that's a German tank, isn't it? So we're just going to place our shot nice and central, taking out his gunner commander and taking out the old tank. So that tank is just very, very effective. Once you get into these advanced positions, you can really do some damage. But a lot of times you'll find yourself getting stuck before you get into that position to pick things off. You really need to understand, right, I need to stop here and hold this position against the enemy before I advance. Many of other players just drive too fast straight into the enemy and they wipe themselves off the map very quickly. So we took out that Panzer and due to another player not being able to judge the speed of this tank, you can see just how close that shell is behind me. Millimeters. A teammate there is repairing up and to give him a chance, I'm going to use the speed of this little tank to try to get up behind whatever decides to shoot at me. So there's two options what could happen here. I could run right around the corner if he's thinking that I'm doing exactly just that. But most likely he thinks that I'm probably waiting around that corner for him. So we're going to take this next corner nice and quickly. And there's the rear of that large French tank that I'm actually quite intimidated about at this moment in time. We put one through the fuel tank and the fuel tank should have set him on fire. Buying us enough time to get close. So what I'm trying to do here is just disable the tank. I put one through the track to slow him down so he can't reverse and get the main hull armament in my position so let's take his engine out now i need to take out his turret so he can't kill my teammate over there in the m3 that's repairing and i am desperately frantically trying to do some damage to this guy here and i only take out one of his crew members i come around the side and try to thread one into his crew compartment but it's absorbed into the track and i realize the only thing i'm gonna be able to do here is i'll have to take manual control and lower the gun below the track piece so it threads through the side and there we go but it was too late for the m3 driver now, what I really also quite like about this tank is it can transition roles very quickly. From that very aggressive sort of role, I decided to go a little bit sneaky and took myself away in this little bush here, waiting to ambush the next player that's heading to the A objective. And as you can see here, it looks like we've got our first victim. One goes straight through and knocking him out in seconds. Now, what's even better about this tank is, is the speed. We can simply drive away and get to the opposite side of the map where our team are struggling to actually hold the spawn point. So we're going to pop around this corner and we see something mighty scary that gets a shot at us, but it luckily enough doesn't ruin us. Our toast-like armor is somehow absorbing that shell. How how it does it, 
I don't quite know, but we've lost our either a gunner or loader command. I think it's not a gunner, it's a loader or commander slash roll. We're going to come back around this side to see if we can deal with these other tanks while the heavy tank tries to flank around the left side. Lurking around. There's one coming out of that bush. We better be ready on him quickly. And a good shot right through the French tank's main okay, armament. We go. We've got a poke from Team Speak just to confuse everyone. And we're looking for that second enemy tank around here. There he is, one through his side. I'm trying to prioritize the target so I can kill within one shot, and these shells are allowing me to do this. I'm gonna pop around this final corner, and there it is. Line up the shot, but it's too late. The T-35 takes us out. But anyway, let's thank you guys for watching. Pick a tank in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.